West Side will be asking voters to approve a $121 million school bond of its own. The district says the time is now to rebuild and renovate outdated schools. Six News Bella Caracta gives us an inside look at one of the elementary schools that they say needs to go. The infamous tornado of 1975 came right through Westgate and destroyed it. And believe it or not, Westgate was uh, reconstructed over that summer in about 80 days. That quick rebuild left some things to be desired, says Westside Superintendent Dr. Mike Lucas. The only way to get to this classroom is to go through that classroom. We don't have the shared learning spaces, the flexible learning spaces that we need. And a gymatorium model seen in Westgate and other district schools. The, the same place where you have waffle sticks and syrup for lunch for first graders an hour later becomes where you're trying to teach fifth graders how to do uh, the tumbling unit. The district is asking voters to approve phase two of its master plan, which includes rebuilding Westgate, Hillside and Loveland Elementary Schools. They'd renovate three other elementaries and expand Westside Middle and High School. Phase one, which included four new buildings, passed in 2014. The district did a nice job of making sure all the phase one projects were done on time, on budget. If approved, the bond would raise property taxes by about $49 for every $100,000 in home valuation. If you want to take a look yourself at one of the buildings that may be renovated or completely rebuilt, there are 25 opportunities for you to do so before that mail-in election. Those visits may be particularly helpful for voters without kids in the school system to see what they'd be voting on. Across the three zip codes Westside schools are in, about one in five people are 65 and older. I think taxes are really high anyway, you know, and uh, adding $50 more would be a lot. We're both retired here, so we're working on a fixed income, and that's, um, uh, that, that'll be a problem. It really doesn't affect me because I don't have any young children in school. I mean, I can appreciate my neighbors because they do, but I myself would probably vote against that. Voters will decide during that special election on May 9th. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. If you're interested in learning more about the Phase 2 bond issue, you can head over to our website, WWT.com. You can find more details about the project.